Today I want to talk to you about some of the issues with the Razer Naga 2014 gaming mouse that a lot of people have been uh, upset with. And that mostly has to do with tracking and various glitches that the mouse has when working with various surfaces. So you'll notice that in some scenarios the mouse might stick and won't move when you're trying to move the mouse. Uh, the, the pointer will stick, that is. And if you lift it off of the um, mouse pad or desk, it might jump around, and that can be a real issue. So there's a pretty simple fix, and the key is to open up the Razer Synapse program, which is this screen. But the, uh, the icon is up here at the top of your screen if you're working on the Mac. And um, when you open it up, you'll have a number of different specifications that you can adjust for the mouse. You can turn on and off lights, you can build macros, adjust macros, but what you're going to want to go to for this fix is the mouse and calibration screen. So if you go in here, uh, your surface calibration may or may not be off or on, but you're going to want to turn it on. And if you're working with a Razer mouse pad, you can actually go in and select the mouse pad you want to use. Um, but if you're not using that, you want to go to others. And this is if you're using, you know, just a generic mouse pad you had lying around the house or any other brand of mouse pad, or even if you're just using uh, a desk, a wooden desk, a metal desk, a glass desk, whatever it is that you're working on. So they'll have a mouse in here, but I like to just go ahead and add whatever I'm working on. And right now that's just a wood desk. So you add that in and go ahead and hit calibrate. So it prepares the sensor, and then it wants you to do a simple maneuver to show the mouse what you're working on. So a left mouse click, and then sort of move it along your workspace. So that's either the full mouse pad or just the chunk of the desk that you're using. And it'll show you that you're calibrating and finish with another left mouse click. And there you go, calibration complete. So if you go ahead and hit save, you've now got that wooden desk or whatever you're working on saved. And another step is generally if you lower this liftoff range, it, uh, it makes things a little smoother on the jumping up and down when you're lifting your mouse off of the actual desk. So that should do the trick. You can close out of Razer Synapse and you should have uh, full control of your mouse um, and hopefully that'll fix any of your problems. But if you're not sure um, and something's not quite going right, feel free to leave a comment below and we can try to figure it out for you. Otherwise, please like the video and subscribe. And thanks a lot for checking it out today, guys.